Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today I want to talk about a true physical culture pioneer called Walt Baptiste, who was both a bodybuilder and yoga teacher. Baptiste began teaching breath work at the tender age of 17 years old, having been exposed to yoga by his uncle, who was a disciple of Yogananda. Two years later, he opened the Center for Physical Culture, where he combined weight training with yoga and meditation. After doing so, he competed in bodybuilding and won third place at the 1949 IFBB Mr. California competition and would go on to promote his system of bodybuilding, which combined yoga with bodybuilding to the masses through his own publication on physical culture titled Body Modern Magazine. Baptiste later focused more on yoga and committed his life to it, opening the first yoga school in San Francisco in 1955, and in 1971, he and his wife founded the Baptiste Health and Fitness Center, which included a yoga room, a gym, a dance studio, as well as a natural food store and restaurant. However, being of course a primarily a bodybuilding channel, I thought I might expand on Walt Baptiste's methods for bodybuilding that he used back in the day, which again included a combination of using free weights, power yoga, as well as muscle control. Enjoy! Walt Baptiste, like most Silver Era bodybuilders, possessed a rather large and impressive upper body compared to the development of his legs, and this had much to do, of course, with his style of training. At the time, as already mentioned, Walt Baptiste would operate a fully equipped gym in San Francisco, equipped with squat racks, benches, a full set of dumbbells, and even with a cable station. Having developed sufficient mass, he would focus on a shaping routine for his physique in preparation for the 1949 IFBB Mr. California competition. His upper body routine for the 1949 Mr. California competition consisted of the dumbbell breathing fly, which he used for rib expansion. And as you can see, the sets and reps are listed. Now, very important with a lot of these exercises, I will try to explain a little bit. For example, you can see that with the diagram, the breathing dumbbell fly, the dumbbells were actually brought all the way down as much as possible with a real focus on the breath, with really actually pausing at the bottom and taking a big breath in to really expand the rib cage. Uh, the next exercise followed was the regular curl, uh, again, bringing the elbow all the way up. This is a very typical silver era style barbell curl, again, made famous by Leroy Colbert. Interestingly, with this routine, uh, Baptiste would actually then perform once again the breathing dumbbell fly, but this time, this time round, he would breathe uh, three times at the bottom of each fly to get even more of a ribcage expansion. Very interesting. He would then go back now to now dumbbell curls. He would go back to working the arms and perform three sets of 10 reps on, on the dumbbell curls. This would then be followed by barbell rows. Uh, and he would do this with his head supported on a bench, uh, doing three sets of 10 reps, followed by the dumbbell bench press, then performing one arm dumbbell rows, the barbell bench press, dumbbell triceps curls done standing. And again, I mean, he, he was really obsessed with ribcage expansion. And he would do at the end of this upper body routine, uh, he would do breathing dumbbell pullovers, a set of 20 reps, again, really focusing on expanding the ribcage, taking big, deep breaths in. So that basically covers his upper body routine. For legs, which he would train on a separate day, he would perform squats, leg curls, and calf raises. Although I know he would split his upper body from his lower body training, I'm assuming he would train each split twice a week, like most silver era bodybuilders, and he would perform, for example, abdominal exercises five up to seven days a week to ensure a muscular and reduced waistline, using, of course, the standard sit-up, leg raises, and twists. Besides bodybuilding training and due again to his yogic background, Walt Baptiste was an expert at muscle control, and he even wrote a course on it, resembling much of Maxick's work. Uh, now, you, you will know a lot about Maxick through, of course, Bill Hinburn's side and through mine, uh, because Maxick was 
an expert, of course, at muscle control. Truly, the, the types of muscle control exercises that Walt Baptiste would perform were basically the same. And they are listed here. And these are the ones he would actually teach in his course. From what I understand, he would select some of these exercises at the end of his workouts or perform them throughout the day and week. Uh, furthermore, because Walt Baptiste was a yogi at heart, he had incredible dynamic control of his body, as well as the ability to perform vacuums and advanced yogic breathing, which further enhanced his physique, muscle control, and posing, as both the ability to flow from one pose to the other is very much like a power yoga practice, which is essentially what Walt Baptiste would eventually teach the rest of his life and what he passed on to his children, namely Baron, Sherry, and Devi Ananda Baptiste. Now, for those interested in learning exactly what the muscle control exercises that Baptiste used, well, here they are listed. You can see that there's biceps contractions uh, together, so, simult so simultaneously and alternate. Triceps control, basically doing tricep extensions and holding. Deltoid controls, lat controls, uh, pectoral, trapezius, forearm, neck, abdominal, and, um, you know, <laughs> abdominal rope isolations, for example, you can read here, abdominal separation, arch control, you know, the, um, there's, there's all these uh, types of, of, I guess, yogic exercises, really, like, for example, abdominal rope isolation is, is essentially a form of nauli. You'd have to read up on yoga to find that out. I've done yoga for about two decades, so I understand what all this is. But he basically, especially with abdominal work, uh, abdominal muscle control, even Maxix or, or Walt Baptiste, essentially, here's where you start bridging the gap between bodybuilding and yoga. Um, especially with a lot of these muscle control exercises. Everybody knows how to contract the bicep or extend their arm to, to you know, isolate the triceps. For example, you, when you're doing breath control and abdominal control, this starts really bridging into the yoga practice. And, and it's very hard to explain here, but if you want to find out more about it, I highly recommend you read uh, Max Six books. They're on my website and I'll talk a little bit about them later. Of course, he also practiced thigh control, calf display and control. Uh, the, of course, the biceps, thigh control, that is, of course, the hamstrings, as well as uh, joint manipulation like scapular isolation and other things like that. It's, it's pretty amazing. Again, muscle control is a practice of the past. It's kind of a bridge between bodybuilding and yoga. If you're interested in learning about it, you can find these books. Uh, on my website as well as others. And yeah, I, it's something that kind of has been lost through time, but it's a great practice. And a lot of bodybuilders and physical culture back then actually used it as well as a practice when they were on the go, because of course it involves no weight. It is basically just, you know, fully contracting and extending your muscles. That's what muscle control is all about. Now, one of the reasons I thought I would talk about Walt Baptiste and mention him on my channel is because he was mentioned in one of the recent Volume 5, Issue 3 of Iron Man magazine, which is available, of course, on my website. Uh, so it was recently featured in one of the Iron Man magazines that are currently on my website. And so for those that will remember, Perry Raider's original Iron Man magazine was without a doubt the best old school muscle mag that ever circulated during the golden era of bodybuilding. If you wish to learn about Walt Baptiste's and other silver era and golden era bodybuilders, please check out the new issues of Iron Man that are coming out monthly on my website. And of course, to learn more about muscle control, the isolation of muscles, the, the ability to contract and extend every single muscle in isolation. I do have many of Maxix publications on my website too. I'm going to try and see if I can get Walt Baptiste. It's quite hard to find. It's rare. But yeah, all of Maxix publications available on my website, www.goldenerabookum.com. Reflecting on Walt's unique form of bodybuilding, one can appreciate his emphasis on building the organs as well as the muscles. And by building the organs, I actually mean building the vitality and function of the organs, not necessarily their size. 
Through his emphasis on breathing and exercising the organs with rib expansion and deep breathing techniques, which no doubt is a reflection of his attempts to bring both the discipline of yoga and bodybuilding together, uh, it's very obvious that this is how he achieved this. Further, his consistent practice of muscle control really paid dividends because he came third in the IFBB Mr. California competition of 1949. So I do hope you have enjoyed looking at one of bodybuilding's and yoga's pioneers from the silver era. Walt Baptiste was a rather unique physical culturist in that he combined both yoga and bodybuilding. Of course, there were others who also did so, especially in India. However, not many did so in the US, which makes him rather unique. As mentioned earlier, his legacy continues with his children and their power yoga with weights, that's they combine power yoga with weights in classes and courses, which involve, of course, combining the weights with the yoga poses, which is a very interesting form of yoga. So if you enjoyed this video, this look at Walt Baptiste's bodybuilding system, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm, and please leave me your comments. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Larry Scott's original booklets are back on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, where you can learn all the secrets of the first Mr. Olympia. Larry covers everything from courses for bulking up, body part specialization, and for the more advanced diet programs for getting ripped as well as posing for preparation for bodybuilding competition, and much, much more, all available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.